Yeah, you know, Seki no Kuni was excellent. Recently wanted to watch Katana Gatari again. This be a fucking great aesthetics. God, I love Katana Gatari. We should get more seasons? Probably won't. The uh, production costs on it were incredibly high. And it was like an indie darling, tragically. Ooh, wow, Chrono Bobble out the gate. That's a good sign. Trailer already looks sick. Couldn't know it started? It has, and it is pretty sick. Are you not puke invoking? Pretty much. Hey, is that a sticky bomb? I will take one, please. I shouldn't have put that there. It's gonna be blocked on all sides. Literally could have just taken this. Hello, cat. Oh god, monk ass. Please don't die. Hmm. Should probably grab some sustain if I'm gonna play like an asshole. Hurley <laughs> bobble. Yeah. I died, Huntress? Yeah, I just obliterated. Ever watch a Monogatari series? Yep. Really like Neko Monogatari. Had a really sick figure of Hanekawa for a long time. Weebs in my chat? It's more likely than you think. Already <laughs> playing like an asshole, pretty much, dude. Not even mad though, to be honest. I'm just gonna pull her away from my turrets. Oh, geez, that's. Yep. The minute I hit that thing, I knew I was gonna stop in front of her. Fuck. Feels bad. This is distressing. Hmm. Am I actually about to get my ass kicked by a beetle queen? Yeah, holy shit. That's the first time that's happened in a long time, chat. I'm terrible at the game. <laughs> wow. Anyway. I misjumped her fucking spit three times in a row. God. Imagine dying first stage of Zenji, right? Fuck, man. Okay, you're better this? Of course I'm bad. <laughs> I'm sick and tired. <laughs> Give me a break. Sick meme. Thanks, guys. This hits all buttons? Yeah, sure. Ooh, fruit. Okay. Man, I don't have my deals tonight. <laughs> Got out a ghost player before it was never good. Yeah, you're right. But nah, I just played bad, what do you do? Very surprising though. First time this happened in a long time. Like move speed on a jeep. No, what have we got? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not concerned. <laughs> Only reasonable logical conclusion? Seems good. I doubt there's gonna be anything I want, but who knows, right? <laughs> what do you think of the Battle Angel movie? I haven't seen it. Might as well go window shopping? Pretty much. There's almost no chance of me getting anything I want, but hey, window shopping's fun. Darn.
Man, this thing is dodging like an actual fucking professional. Holy shit, man. Marion's dodging better than Cat? You're not wrong. Lumerians, even. Why have I not pressed this teleporter button? I guess because technically I have no damage, but that really shouldn't be that much of an issue. Is there anything can be done to mine to make them usable? No, not really. Just throw them at your feet and hope. Gonna spread these out so it doesn't just DPS them both down. Man, I actually have a lot of move speed. Holy shit. Are dying in two seconds again here? Nah. I'm good. <sighs> A lot of early movement speed this time. Hopefully not though, fucking right. To be honest, I almost kinda wish I'd just make like oh, well that's amazing. I almost kinda wish they'd uh just make mines like three really big mines so that getting backup mag wouldn't feel so bad but that's not really in the spirit of NG right speaking of which I haven't seen that in a while that's probably the first time in like two weeks I don't know what happened just brained out I guess that's surprising though Not to the Matrix, yeah. It's eventually gonna happen, right? Hey, two goodies. And by goodies, I mean, ooh, yeah, one of them actually is a goodie. And fireworks is always good. Just for uh, clearing while I walk. Future use of light item? Nope, we're doing no printers, uh... Well, no printers, no, um... Pff, fucking... Gesture, so... Sadly, the only way it'll become useful is if we can trade it, three of them in for something good. Might be very useful in Lunar Shop, that's true. If I get another Wisp, I take it in a second. You obliterate on Huntress here. Oh. Darn, there's no way I get this, huh? Hmm. Darn, I could have won immediately. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> One of those is worth it, though. Probably gonna take that band. Bands are just too good individually uh, for damage ups this part in the game. Looks like a Kiaros too if my eyes aren't deceiving me again. Or rather if I'm not blind. Did that golem just only give me 13 gold? Fascinating.
Yeah, Colonel Bobble and Crowdfunder are basically tied for worst things to ever happen to the human race. Hey, why not? When Chrono's green stick is white, well, I don't necessarily think rarity should be the same thing as usefulness. Some of the most useful items in the game are white, actually. Attack speed item, crit item, pretty much all of these borderline essential items are white because they should be common because you pretty much need them to make decent builds, right? So every tier should probably have items that you don't necessarily want, I think, but yeah. Chrono certainly is a standout. I want that rare chest. The crowdfunder proc effects. I think it does, but somebody did like the number on it. Even if you're literally like 100 up timing, it's just still not good. <laughs> the damage addition is just not that good, no matter how you cut it. Actually, no, it doesn't proc effects. I think it is an effect or some shit. I don't remember. I just remember people have done the numbers and it does not come up uh, Millhouse. Everything coming up Millhouse, chat room. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to walk back with only one goat if I can help it. So, for that I don't want to try to find it again because I'll forget. Because I'm old. Please, mercy. Alright. <laughs> well, the good news is we have another blue portal. So that all actions, even if it gets a nerf? Yeah, I don't know. Part of me thinks I don't really ever intend to mess with Chrono Ball, but I could be wrong. It's hard to say because of what they did in Risk of Rain 1, right? If they follow their Risk of Rain 1 patterns, then technically speaking, not a lot in this game should really see significant buffs. Because, like, Risk of Rain 1 had the general thought process that some things just shouldn't be that fucking useful, and that's just how it be, you know? So it really depends if they've changed their perspective on that or not. I think I see a second stick in that through chooser. Even super late game, apparently crowdfunders is strictly worse than having another item. That's what I've been told. Numbers wise, that's that that why I think crowdfunder is like uniquely bad. It's not even like Like Chrono Bobble always does something, right? Does it do something good? No. Does it do something? Yeah. Crowdfunder apparently never even becomes like a thing. <laughs> Boy, this boy is fucking up my shit, chat. At first, I like it's, it's statistically not. It's actually still a really bad late game. The damage it adds is less than just having like literally any other damage item. It never becomes good at any point, even if you have infinite money like it. That's the real problem, is that everything's as good as it is relative to what else you could possibly have. Was Melting Boss with it? Yeah, but was he Melting Bosses because he had a good build, or was he Melting Bosses specifically because of Crowd Thunder? Like, that's a pretty big difference. <laughs> like, I'd like to see that run, and then we can determine if it was Crowd Thunder, or whether it was literally just that, like, he had a build. Saying that something's getting melted late game does not necessarily mean that it was melting because of the crowd under. How's it going, Reaper? Like, for example, I could have had a crowd funder on my Huntress endgame at the end there. BB related question. 
What's the highest tier of cult perk your cultists have right now? Do you know? Is that a lot? Because I'm bad at the video game and I let all my, all my early cultists die. Um, I could have had a crowdfunder on my, on my Huntress last game. It wouldn't have made any difference, but it would have made... It, the bosses still would have melted. <laughs> It was a real banger? That's what I've heard. If you don't just let people die. Somebody, uh, copy posted me the actual wiki of it. Looks like it does come quite strong. Am I gonna get anything good here? I don't know. Ow. Delete water, to be honest. Holy shit, I hate looking for stuff in the water. Yeah, let me tell you, if you're gonna be a person in a cultist run, you should probably aim to be one of the cultists, because you're way more likely to be saved. Wait, did I not open this? Huh. Oh, you. We're a speedy boy. Well, for NG, what? Okay, so... Huh. Dio's is actually good enough to justify taking on NG. I'll be damned. Mostly because it makes my turrets have an extra life, which is ludicrously strong. Am I okay with losing everything? Everything except basically the whisk, the missile, and the cure. Well, actually, I'm not okay with losing most of these, but... I'm going to. Okay, we kept that address. That's fine. Okay with losing a lot of this too for an ukulele. Okay. Whispering Kiros, it happens. Dio's is too good on NG nuts to take though. Do. Wow, that is a large collection of chests in a very small area. I'll take these and then go with the teleporter. Well, that's convenient. I think they didn't place these turrets very well too close to each other, but it's fine. Oh shit, you're here. What up? Good talk. <laughs> nice, got the glasses back. That's really good for the uh, headdress. Now my turrets can actually fairly consistently stack shit. Oh nice, and a scythe too. Not super useful obviously, but... Eh. Oh shit, duel and a buffalo. Are you winning, son? I think that these turrets are my children, and that what I'm doing is incredibly illegal. Hey, turrets are supposed to be the Gauss turrets from Doom? Are they? Huh. Are you winning, son? Turrets of Zeal not murdering the entire planet. Listen, potato potato, okay man? They look identical. Fair enough. Hey, let's uh, crank this bitch.
Okay, so let's not screw up the Dune Shredder fight this time. Actually, damage not too hot with this fucking buffalo eating all my shots. You try to keep these turrets alive. Oh, jeez. Well, at least they're not double sucking. Double suck would have double sucked. <laughs> Good joke, got on Mars. Really nailing it today. Hey, one of these. I want to believe I can just kill through this, but I probably can't, to be honest. Maybe I could have found this. Eh, yeah, pretty much. Hey, a stealth belt. Cool. Let's start by the teapot with the murderous intent. Um, years of teapot oppression... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, War Banner? I like War Banner. Especially, I like having exactly one War Banner early game. I think you're pretty much guaranteed to have one in almost every teleporter early game. In late game, you can actually have one in each teleporter too. It's good to have an area of power, I think. I don't think War Banner is like something that you should really actively seek, but it's a good option if you don't have any attack. I like it. Another sticky boy. Oh, sticky boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling. Other runs? Thanks, man. See you later, uh, dragon. Ow. Well, just gonna burn all my money here. Just kidding, I'm gonna burn two, two hits and then I'm good. Just fu- oh, I did not see that three chooser. Is this more than I can afford? God damn it. No, that's okay. Would've liked the AP rounds, but it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, War Banner and Edgy in particular are pretty, uh, pretty Gucci. Should've probably just bought these two chests, but that's okay. No sticky bomb printer use, no printer usage, no gesture. Also, that was a key printer, but no printer, no gesture. <sighs> hmm. I don't really have the build to justify this yet, but yet, but it's pretty fucking banger. Hmm. Would I give up all my greens again for an opinion? Man is actually good. Yep. God, am I really willing to throw out all my shit again for it, though? Huh. Do a carrot? The problem is I don't actually know if it's worth it. I'm gonna lose my ukulele, I'm gonna lose my uh, scythe, I'm gonna lose basically like half my crit and my wisp. I don't think I want it. That was a really good trade. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna lose damage overall on that, so fuck it. I think it's worth I don't think so either. I'd lose five basically relevant green items, except for the salt belt. Do you believe it's gonna be worth it? Eventually it will. Easier to get greens back than reds? Yeah, you're right. I don't think I need it though. 
My best chance of dying is die dying early game on NG late game. You just fucking literally AFK and drop turret, so. You're an M, so we're gonna spread this bitch out. Basically just trying to get them to hit the ones that haven't already used their Dio's. Kono heckin Dio, duh. Alright, goody. Hey, don't do that. Oh, uh, that's a good pickup. That's also a good pickup. Aw. Mojo's with the $10. Thank you so much, Mojo's. Enjoy your sleep, man, and I will take your money and play longer. Ten more dollars, we're at 12 hours, shit. Great. <laughs> Thanks a lot, that Mojo's. I really do appreciate it, man. Exceedingly kind to you, my man. Yeah, that behemoth on NG is pretty egregious, though. Generally a 60% damage increase, 6% damage increase times... Th okay. Um. Well. Alright. Now I basically need a, uh... 12 hours of RR2. Probably gonna do Battle Brothers later. The minute my brain shuts off, probably gonna swap to Battle Brothers, because then it's more of a uh, turn-based game. We've gotten stupid. Now all I have to do is literally just not play stupid, and I'm good. I could really use some, uh, verticality, though. I find myself dying occasionally on NG because I like verticality. And also because I'm bad at the video game, but, you know. One and the same, really. I'd actually like to get both legendary chests here, just see if we can scale out control before it matters. Probably overall not worth it, but eh, fuck it, why not? Time it's gonna take on this level is probably too much unless I find a challenge run. Not stupid till you get opinion? I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure this is dumb. It's being easier to get the reds, I take it back? I know. The nature of randomness, or right? You see, chat room, life is like a box of chocolates. You're gonna murder shit with it. How much are these chests again? We got here pretty early. Ah, that's nice. 33, eh? Was 100% a terrible pick? I agree. Overall, the damage loss is too great. Nakuna Matata, what a terrible opinion. Nakuna Makut Matata, probably a bad trade. It means less DPS for at least the next two or three loops. It's a problem free. Do 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 do. Fucking kill me. Alright. I need a feather. I also need not to commit suicide, but feather also is important. I'm trying to find the box. I had a box in this level, right? Yeah, I had a key. Hmm. <laughs> the ultimate power move. Yeah. 
That's true. We could we could power stance the Nakuna. Oh, his turrets are alive, so you don't need to pick something up that makes your turrets stronger. Eh. I don't think it's a bad pickup. It's just for five greed items that are good. I don't think it's a good pickup. Man, no challenge runs. This is gonna take for fucking ever. Am I actually okay with this? Maybe I'll just take one. I feel like that one's gonna take too long. Yeah, I think it's just gonna take too fucking long. I don't wanna be here 30 minutes. Tesla? Yeah, no, I mean, they're all good. Behemoth their Tesla are unconditionally two of the best things in the game. No way around that. The key to doing this, actually, is to try to place it on the edge so that his pounding doesn't actually hit it. It would matter a lot more if I wasn't one-shotting everything, but yeah. But, uh, yeah, I am. We. I'm just gonna be a cheerleader. Turrets, turrets, there are, man, if they can't do it, something, something. Where's this coming from? Must be from up top. Oh, it's over there. I see you. Come here, you little shit. I'm going to leave the teleporter to murder you. Gone about the turret, good. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I think NG has best compatibility with most items? Yep. NG has insane compatibility with most items because it gets multiplied times three. Which it turns out is pretty good. Did not need that, but okay. Shorter cooldown on shield is nice. Shorter cooldown on everything else, kinda eh. Turrets need to die twice to even die here, so it's kinda like eh, but whatever. I'm cool with it. I just benefit from bobbles as much because bobbles don't stack. Shit, you right. I play with two commandos. I think the turrets are quite that good, but yeah. Basically two commandos. Greetings, friends. Stay a while and listen. Yo, can you fucking stop? Jesus, some people's children. Two commandos with aimbot. Eh. Two unmoving commandos with less health than aimbot. Turrets can't feel fear, therefore they are better than commandos. That's a thought. Hey, I actually like that. You need some, uh, movement for after the teleporter's done. I don't know, I recently played a game about a guy who dies twice, and apparently hesitation is defeat, so you might be right. You might be right. Is that a stealth chest? No, it's my box.
I don't care we have headdresses are actually pretty valuable here. Quite likely our turrets are going to keep headdresses up on any uh, consistent target. But yeah, I've had a very reliable old man yell at me repeatedly that hesitation is defeat, so it seems pretty likely. He's basically the Mr. Miyagi of that game, I think. Double bandolier. Neat. Riven lol hesitation is the speed of defeat. Really? I don't remember Riven saying that. I also don't remember most of what Riven said, so that's fair. I just remember all the lines when she pulled the sword out because that was generally the time when you wanted to run. Huh. You can see the words, this cannot go unpunished, and you're like, oh, this can go unpunished, leave me alone, bitch. What the fuck? Flashbacks, yep. Oh, this can definitely go unpunished. Fucking leave me alone. Nice. Attack speed's amazing. Really need a fucking, uh, verticality, though. I'm gonna stay long enough to get these glasses, actually. Ain't got no time for that shit. God, I love the tracking on those fucking balls. Fucking love it to death. Alright. That's the one thing I, need, I think they need to fix about bosses in this game. Those balls need to not have good enough tracking to miss you entirely and then come back and hit you in the back 30 seconds later. Actually, my only complaint about this boss. I think the boss is otherwise 100% fine. But man, that actually just fucking triggers the shit out of me. It's like, hey, you dodged it. Now dodge it again! But why? It's not a fucking boomerang, fam. It's a tar pot. It's a tar pot. Hey, there's my feather. Goody. Yeah, but the bigger one is slow. Those little fucking uh, balls are fast, dude. Just get the buckler and fairy. Yeah. You know what's really sad, by the way? I've been playing a lot of more now lately, I think I told you guys this, and I recently tried the Targe and the Buckler because I thought they would let you actually, like, fucking parry and counterattack like you can with literally every weapon in the game one-handed. Can't do it. They're just really shitty shields. Don't understand. I was so excited for that. It was absolutely terrible. Don't understand why they're in the game. Maybe someone can explain it to me, because I'm explaining why the fuck Targe and Buckler exist in that game. They literally seem 100% worse than just blocking with a weapon. Maybe I'll go watch one of those like 10,000 people that have like number one player in universe. Every time I go to like places that say they're like the number one Morgau player, all I ever fucking see is someone using a Zwei or a Halberd. 
standing at max fucking range and doing nothing but thrusting and picking up like 90 kills in a fucking, uh, what's it called? Fucking, uh, frontline match. Like, uh, I get it, but... Dodger Buckler use, you use up less stamina when you block? Oh. That makes sense. I still think it's garbage, but that does make sense. Range is OP IRL? Yeah, I, I mean, it's fine. It's just... It's like... It's pretty garbage. It, it, it felt that way, yeah. I don't actually learn anything watching him though. I'm just like, huh. I mean, you're right, but also, um... <laughs> just because you're right doesn't mean you're correct. Just because you're correct doesn't mean that you're right, I guess. Yeah. Didn't need that, but a lot of chests. Not great. Ninety-nine percent of the players are terrible, so you can't really learn anything. <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. Hell yeah. Now we end it. I actually think fruit is strictly better on NG than this item, but this item is a lot more fun, so. I am Thunder God Thor. Oh, <laughs> can't you play basketball? Yeah. Said it the wrong way? I believe it. I say a lot of things the wrong way, to be honest. Pretty shamelessly at this point. I actually think Fruit is probably the best pickup on NG in the game. Yeah, did you see Endgame? No. I haven't watched a Marvel movie in like 10 years, if I'm just being completely honest with you. Loved Iron Man, kind of hate the rest of them. Which you, you pretty much probably could have figured out by just watching me. <laughs> I have this problem that I like it when Iron Man speaks, but when anyone else speaks, I want to fucking cut my legs off, so it's kind of like, eh. Hmm. I deserve that. Wow, I'm bad at the video game. Ooh, that was really bad placement. Really bad placement times too. Jeez, cat, you trying to lose this one, buddy? Not that it technically matters. I could pretty much play solo engine and still be fine at this point, but yeah. Literally just like any RDG plays. What does that mean? Oh, RDJ plays. Oh, Robert Downey Jr.? Maybe. Sorry, that took me a minute. Huh. I don't know. Maybe. He's over the movie not named Iron Man? Yeah. Like, I like Captain America as a meme, but the minute they try to actually make Captain America not a meme and, like, try to turn him into an actual person, my eyes just glaze over and I want to vomit. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. Same with Thor, to be honest. I feel the exact same way. It's like they have that, like, serious element to them, but they also have that, like, lovable doofus element to them, and I just say it doesn't jive with me. <laughs> it doesn't jive with me at all. Like, oh, great. Ok, 
Captain America is just like the Superman of the Marvel Universe for me. It's like, every time he opens his fucking mouth, I'm just like, Jesus, kill me. Hate the lovable doofus archetype? I hate it when it's mixed with the, like, urge to be the serious, like, leader archetype, in the case of Captain America. Like, it just, it feels so out of place with, like, Captain America and Thor to me as an actual character that I just, I can't compromise what they try to be on a serious level and what they try to be on, like, a humorous level, right? I understand that, like, nothing can be taken seriously anymore in American movies for the most part. It's at least in, like, AAA shit, but, like... It's just, I, I, I can't compromise their characters with it at all. It's just like, it, it tickles my, the, the lack of consistency about this character button. Like, I actually don't mind Loki for the most part, for example, because Loki, for all that he is, is a very consistent asshole, right? I have the general opinion that if you're going to be an asshole, you should be a really consistent asshole, not like a really redeemable asshole. I, I want my assholes to just be assholes, you know what I mean? Like, how many assholes have you met in real life that you're like, wow, that guy really redeemed himself by the time we stopped knowing each other? It never happens. <laughs> it never happens. <laughs> That's the most consistent thing about him? You're right, but his character attitude is really inconsistent, you know what I mean? He has consistent aspects. It's just... It's consistent aspect and a gen generally inconsistent character. That fucking hurt. Like, I like comic Captain America. I actually like him in the comics quite a bit. I just don't like his movie. <laughs> of the comics that I've read of him, anyway. I'm gonna take this for the sake of, uh, getting all the goodies this level. That's going to be a problem. That is going to be an issue. I say that, but those turrets inside of that, uh, bubble are not really having too big of a problem with it. Hm, he tried to fucking kill me, chat room. Um, a Captain America would not fly in the movies, right? He, he definitely wouldn't, but I like them. Hmm. I should really avoid this. I, I don't have to do anything here. My turrets will kill it. I need to get back in the mindset of, like, stop trying to melee shit with that shit. <laughs> it's a shitty idea and you're bad at it. Same way I like Batman, to be honest. Batman in the comics is very consistent. <laughs> you, you always get what you expect out of Batman in the comics. And, and they actually did a fairly good job translating that with a lot of the more recent Batmans, which I appreciate a lot, which is why I like Batman movies, too. Iron Man 2. Or Iron Man as well, not Iron Man 2 the movie. It's like, for all of his comedic bullshit, he's a very consistent but lovable scoundrel character, right? Like, what was that fucking movie with the princess with the hair Rapunzel? Like that guy. You know what I mean? Even though they're, like, not necessarily, like, the most serious go-to characters, they're still, they're consistent, right? I can enjoy watching them without thinking, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> hmm. 
Man, three wisps. That is really convenient. Actually, you know what? I haven't seen Affleck as Batman yet. That's fair. Have I? Maybe I haven't. I wonder what these legendaries cost. I guess it doesn't really matter. I should be hitting the teleporter now. Or I should have probably hit it before, but that's fine. Not missing much? I feel like I'm probably not. Darn. Well, rip that turret. Well, so I say, but it's soon fun. Where's the last sim? Any lot of fireworks that I have. Imp. There he is. Hey, come down fucking mine lane. Welcome to the DMZ, motherfucker. Try it, I dare you. See what happens. Shit, he did. <laughs> he tried it and it worked. Teleporting his cheat. Oh, we got a Chrono Bobble, that's great. Whoa, where the fuck did you come from? Okay. But yeah. Okay, well, we got the opinion anyway. We didn't ask for the opinion, but we got the opinion. Yep. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it could just be a case of better actor syndrome, too. Like Robert Downey Jr. is, <laughs> like, obviously the strongest actor in that cast. Well, is that fair? <sighs> yeah, kind of. That's definitely been the case in a couple movies for me where it's like... It's not even that you got the best character, it's just that you're a better actor. Huh. Quality of actor actually matters when it comes to acting. Who would have thunk? How many keys do I have now? Only three. Huh. I always feel like you get more keys than I do, and I think that's just because I don't like seeing keys past the first one. I'm always like, God, what is that, the twelfth key? And that's like the second one, I'm like, oh, hmm. Cedric Diggory is Batman? Man, that's a thinker. That is a thinker. Or a syringe, though. That's nice. Shame keys don't scale up more aggressively. I mean, I see why. They'd be pretty broken, but still. It's a shame. There are so many good one-off items in this game, though, so I guess that's nice. <laughs> Worst actor was Ant-Man. I haven't seen Ant-Man. Orky's like 45% of green. Is it? Man, it does scale more aggressively than I remember. Uh, I still need to crit, sadly. Whoa, could you? I think I have a fucking talky talk with this. Oh, jeez, have I made a mistake? No, I haven't. I'm fine. Oh, shit, but now I have to walk back up. Fucking shit. Well, the good news is I have cred whips. So I should be scooting. I 
I believe it though. I guess I still need to watch a lot of this shit to make any real statements, right? Like, I still haven't seen a lot of the new ones. I literally haven't seen a Marvel movie in 10 years, because I just kind of was like, eh, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm good. I kind of fell out of the super thing, superhero thing pretty fast, which is ironic as a weeb, because I put up with an unlimited amount of shit from anime and I still watch it, but for some reason with superheroes I have much less tolerance for it. <laughs> Alright, the galaxy is a fun time. It's hard to watch and not enjoy. That's nice. I do like the raccoon. Whose name I am not remembering at the moment. That guy was a trip. Rocket, yeah, Rocket Raccoon, there we go. Where the fuck? Oh, it's over there, isn't it? No wonder I didn't see it. Darn. Alright. Shit, what time is it? Shadow? I've been streaming. A lot of Captain America. Uh... Actually, I don't even know why I'm playing it, having this hard of an opinion on it. I really don't care that much. If I'm being really honest. Is that one drone holding off like an entire army over here? Holy shit, it kind of was. Has anyone seen Korean dubbed anime? It sounds hilarious. That's interesting. Oh, we've only done four hours. Okay. I have way more time to go. I can't really speak because I live in America where we basically have like four anime voice actors. Functionally. We have like four anime voice actors and the interns who get hired to do all the others. <laughs> About how it works here. I got this bike, yep. We got like Vic, whatever the fuck his last name is. The guy who I've got to be honest I've met and was kind of creepy sometimes, but that's okay. Because let's be honest, anime community. Um, fucking... God, what's that one woman who does fucking everything? I cannot remember her name. She did Hodo and a couple of other shit. Uh, I can't even fucking remember. I'm not going back down there, fuck it. I'm fine. Christina V, uh, yeah. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't honestly know a lot of the American ones' names. We, we, we functionally have, like, honest to god, like, five of them here in America, though. And they're at every con, like literally every fucking con. <laughs> like, well, we need guests. What the fuck even hit me that hard? I think I walked into a, uh... Any Star Wars movie? Nope, haven't seen any of the new Star Wars. I'm kind of out of the loop when it comes to movies, to be honest. It's like the one area of kind of like media I'm just completely out of the fucking loop and have been for a long time. Is it much in Star Wars so far? That's what I've heard. That's a problem, right? I have Twitch chat to pretty much tell me stuff now, and most of the time you guys are like, it's all shit, and I'm just like, well, alright. To be honest, whether that's accurate, I don't know, but the general feedback I get is, uh, why am I not touching the teleporter? Does that game Engie suck? No, Engie's just the best character in the game by a fair margin right now. 
once you understand how the game works. Once you understand itemization, speed, and you actually understand the layouts of areas, NGs. Just incredibly strong, because each item you get, essentially, you get three times because it connects to your turrets. Which turns out it's pretty good. I want to get this one out of the way for uh, the no gesture, no item run, or no uh, printer run, because, yeah, this is gonna... This one, I think, is the most trivial to do. And yet, it took me more tries than the other two I've done so far. Huntress and Multi took me one try each, and NG has taken me three so far, so I guess I'm just bad at the video game and have no excuse, huh? Holy shit, I could die here. Holy fuck, I hate those tracker balls! Oh, yikes. How's it going, Vorkara? Vorkara? New Star Wars are quality wise as good as the most recent episodes of Game of Thrones. Yeah, people tell me that's quite bad. Or rather, Twitter has. But Twitter also hates like everything, so. I don't know. Depends who you ask, I guess. I like the New Star Wars movie? I, I suspect I would probably like them just because I enjoy like sci fi world building, and Star Wars has pretty decent sci fi world building as a whole. But who knows? Honestly, that's what the sequels lack? That's a shame. I do fuck all world building. That is a shame. Part of what I really liked about Star Wars is that it did feel like a fucking galaxy thing going on. <laughs> I just assume you know Star Wars? Oh, hmm. It'll probably work because I do, but that is kind of disappointing, yeah. Massive bottles, da da da. Wasn't that like, I don't know. I guess that's kind of why I'm not a big fan of Star I don't know. I like Star Wars. I've watched all of them up to that point, but I never felt like Star Wars had fantastic writing in the first place, so I could never watch Star Wars for the writing in the first place. We, we, we've had this chat, but I've made it fairly clear I think George Lucas is a fucking hack <laughs> when it comes to actual writing quality. So I, I guess I never watched Star Wars in the first place, so I never. The writing being bad would literally go right over my head as, like, of course. Yes, of course. I mean, it just, it generally lacks a lot of... How do I put this? It's a really predictable kind of hero storyline. There's nothing that it brings to, like, the classic hero storyline, right? What it brings is really cool graphics and a really awesome world for me. There's at no point where I was watching Star Wars where I'm like, wow, this is a really new innovative take on, like, you know, the hero's journey storyline. It's just, it's fucking straight out of the hero's journey storyline kind of book. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just, there's nothing that, like, blew me out of the water with that. I, I, I've never played Star Wars on any level for, uh, the story. 
because they didn't direct the new ones? Oh, there's that. <laughs> But honestly, that probably wouldn't bother me. Like I said, I, I never watched Star Wars Rewriting, and I, I never will. Ooh, these are actually incredibly dangerous. I should just move. As long as they're shooting at me and not my turrets, my turrets will just take care of it. The Engie's weakest point is that he actually is really bad against air compared to the other classes. Engie shooting air is actually quite difficult, so, uh, yeah, generally in your best interest to just fucking jump around and let your turrets do it. Multiplayer friends with R1, have you played together? I have, I played duos. My personal opinion is that this game feels more like it's single player right now, but can be played multiplayer. The problem is the meta that works is still just literally just play or just make a hyper carry, so. The bad news is it's gonna take you a lot of organization and skill to get really far on multiplayer. The good news is if you wanted that, you've got it. Or people would not complain about them? What do you mean? <sighs> as long as the hyper carry thing stays, I'm not very good at the sold in this game as a multiplayer. Yeah, it probably will. I'd be very surprised if uh, hyper carry multiplayer wasn't the meta for all eternity. It's just way better to have all the synergies on one person in this game. To be honest, I think they should just add individual loot like pretty much every other ARPG has because individual loot makes it a lot easier to not just pigeonhole you into feeding all the items to one person. Or rather that being the clearly best strategy, because it won't be a strategy. So it's just individual loot then you have to balance? Yeah, pretty much. Well, got about 100% crit now, even without a clover, so that's good. God, we have so many fireworks. Seven fireworks. Who's wrong with engineering even once while trying this? Yeah, I actually did. I lost two. First one just playing like a complete asshole at the start of the night, and second one I actually died super early. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because Huntress I one shot and Multi I one shot, and I've died twice doing Engineer. It's a real thinker, isn't it? But honestly, it's because I think I, I I hate to say this, but like I play most classes really, really seriously, like most of the time. In Engineer, I just go brain AFK sometimes. I know it sounds like an excuse, but goddamn, I really do. I go brain AFK so often playing Engineer. I one shot two classes that are like really blatantly harder and then I'll just play engineer. I'm like, I wonder if I can get away with this. <laughs> These our expectations will be subverted. I don't know, man. I know you guys don't believe that's a thing, but like, I swear to God, when you play a character that's too good, sometimes and you are aware that it's too good, it's so easy to just go brain AFK while playing the game. You just be like, I can probably get away with this. It's so easy. Hey, fun guy. When the hell did I take that shrine? See what I mean? <laughs> Not sure if it'd be worth it at this point. Oh, you mean this particular one? Oh, NG I knew would be the easiest one. And then it ironically took me more tries than the two classes that I think are harder, but hey, whatever. Literally just brain AFKs, yeah. I actually think it's kind of arguably the most common way to die with this class is just that you die to brain AFK. You just die to being like, I don't need to pay attention here, and then you, you did. 
you did need to pay attention here, but you, you didn't want to, right? You didn't really want to pay attention. You wanted to just like fucking brain AFK and win the video game. You skipped the opinion 3D and even you were using the item, your legends are so good. Oh, I already have an opinion though. Opinion scales up okay, but it doesn't scale up like that I would trade another legendary for it. I actually could take the fuel cell here, even though I should take that dress. Just get the brain upgrade item. Yeah, good idea, man. Just upgrade your brain, forehead. Anyway. Should have taken this immediately, but kind of taking my time looking around. Hmm. And we got a headdress anyway, cool. It really is so easy to go for an AFK on this though. All right, it's gonna be an interface that lets you do things through thinking. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. What was that saying? It was in a... Fuck, what's that Canterbury Tales but sci-fi version called again? Hyperion. In the poet section of Hyperion, he was like... First came the word processor, then came the processor, then came the death of literature. <laughs> I've always been really wary of the, the concept of thought processors. <laughs> Not that literature is even relevant anymore, but yeah. Okay, not really great, but it stops the uh, MP boys, or rather deals significant damage to them near my two turrets. Literature Lamau, yeah. That quote always stuck with me though. Pot death incoming, pretty much. Seems likely. For the sake of accessibility, to be honest, thought processes are pretty cool though. Just from that perspective, they're really neat. Yeah, L6 U glue. Yeah. Good point, man. I don't know what your point was, but good point. I don't know what that means, but yeah. You are right. I don't know if that was just like a random truism to get me through the day. It mainly be novelty, same. But isn't that how it all works? Like fidget spinners weren't supposed to be for, you know, people to spin on the internet. And yet here we are. You can give an item a purpose, chat, but you can't make people use it for that purpose.
Oh, that's interesting, uh, Esco. Hey, it's not wrong, though. So, if I were a teleporter... God, we have so many missiles. That'll do it. Pretty horrible turret placement, actually. I mean, it doesn't matter, but yeah. Golem is sapping my century. Human laziness is the driving force of progress. Nice CF2 reference. Thanks, man. CF2 is still relevant, right? Blizzard made that new game. What was it called? Team Fortress 3? Yeah. It's got that much more attractive version of Sniper in it. Her name's like Purple Sniper or something, I don't remember, I don't fuck. Uh, yeah, anyway, it happened. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Huh. I nearly fucking died. Oh, no, wait, I did fucking die. Oh, no, wait, I didn't. <laughs> just getting easy. I didn't think that the, uh, the ice explosion went through bubble. It totally does. I legit did not think ice explosion went through bubble. Well, that's what I learned. Didn't <laughs> even sort of break. Explosions don't care about your shields? I mean, the fucking, what's it called? The uh, jellyfish one does. Oh, okay. Huh. I don't know what was up here, but man, is it dead now. What's the point of the sniper if he or she can't throw a jar at enemies? That's a fine question. To be honest, from what I've seen on the internet, mostly porn. What does stacking Tesla even do? Hits more targets. And increases the range, I believe. I don't know, can someone check that? Like, vastly more sniper porn now. Plus three targets more per sec, there you go. Pretty sure, anyway. Hmm. A lot of passive wisps this run. Interesting. Wisps, even. Wisps. This is the most wisps I've gotten in a while, without using a printer, obviously. Tiptoe through the tulips, are the tulips in the window tree now? Tiptoe through the tulips with me. I'm deadly afraid of these pots. Blazing clay noon shredder, eh?
Rushing Telly at this point in the game, you might as well. What the fuck's even happening? Video games, my man. Fucking video games. Now I get to fight my turrets for actual stacks here. Yeah, my golem almost made it over here. The video IG is annoying. That it is. That it is. Wow, another wisp. Neato. Because I wasn't playing this game passively enough already. Turrets out of future stack save. I think that's intentional. I think it's just supposed to be for that turret's life, which makes it ironically pretty terrible on him. Unless you're killing everything yourself, which you're fucking not. Don't you lie to me. Got killing a person in jail. I don't really think that's the thing. <laughs> I got a level with you. Just have close kill everything, gets the stacks easier. You're not wrong, yeah. Kill those bots for the health insurance? I should actually. How's it going essentially? Oh, I almost died. That pot could have fucking killed me. Man, that would have been unfortunate. Alright. Blowing pots equal health too? Yeah, but what if I don't want to blow it? You can't make me just blow something, chat. <laughs> Sorry for those pots, they'll fuck you up. Oh, I'm aware. Yeah, most turrets got fucked up. Damn, this level is spooky fucking scary, chat room. Oh god, big suck. Turrets can do anything, but can they see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch?
happen to have their glasses on. Uh. Can they see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I mean, let's be honest, Engineer was always going to be easier in 3D, though, if they remade Engineer. It's just a class type that by nature is going to be much easier in 3D now that you can actually dodge. The same reason Sniper is probably going to be really good once they release them. Sniper's main weakness is that it's fucking incredibly hard to dodge as Sniper in uh, Risk of Rain 1 compared to how easy it's going to be dodge in this game. Hey, hook. Neat. I'm sure I'm going greater with Sarn hit scan. I'm pretty sure they'd be able to one-shot you like most of the late game if they were. They hit the double double. Ooh, what reads the words you type? That's essentially what I think people don't overly appreciate is that the internet was always like this. It was always picking up data that you put into it and translating it. It's just that the way it's being used now is something that we consider to be generally unethical, but the sad truth is we give it most of the knowledge. <laughs> I give it all the knowledge. Alright, good luck turrets. I'm gonna go take a vacation. I believe in you. I want you to know I believe in you. Jet fuel still beams territory. I'm just saying, I mean, the internet was never a private thing. Like, there, there was no point at any point in the internet's inception that it was a private thing. It's just, it now has access to pretty much all of your knowledge because you use it for everything all the time. So, TLDR, if it is something that you think is a serious problem on a personal level, become a hermit for it. Kruger9393. So you have access to all of its knowledge? Pretty much, right? You just have to decide if that's worth it. TLDR, your expectation of privacy is not the same thing as you being promised privacy. <laughs> Well, Legendary is dropping at this point. I mean, the only one that would really be a game changer at this point would be Clover, but we don't need it. The internet by nature is a pretty Faustian bargain, if you look at it in terms of, like, privacy versus knowledge gained. Always has been, always will be. Something, something, you stare into the void, it stares back. Hashtag most overused video game quote slash Nisha quote of all time. Hashtag kill me. Alright. Privacy, essentially, right? 
Huh, there was a third legendary. Was there a challenge shrine anywhere? Because I can't afford that. Well, whoops. This was a challenge run, I can't get it. Pretty sure there wasn't either. Oh well. What do you do? Cool. Exactly what I wanted. Goody. Oh, there was literally a challenge run right next to me. Well, oh, this'll be enough. So I'll kill myself on it. But yeah, that's a real kicker of it, right? Oh, I should have used that. Now you effectively have gesture? Yeah, pretty much. We oh, that's actually spooky. Oh, I'm dead. Well, that golem blasted me right the fuck out of there. I thought I was inside the bubble. This is why I generally don't like to stop moving in game. Because you get blasted out of the fucking bubble by the golem like that. Yeah, that golem blasted me out of the bubble into the other one. I thought I was safe. Oh well. So now we actually don't have a deal on our turrets, which is kind of, sort of, spooky, but not really. We need more fungi, though. Increase the durability of these turrets. I didn't really think I was going to wind up using that. I thought Jim and thought we were going to get through that without even having to use the Dio's. But I'm always surprised. Wait until you find a clover, it's not that spooky. Eh, I see what you mean, but yeah. Has the Discord now? I've had a Discord for like over a year. <laughs> Most it's just full of weebs rolling for waifus though, to be honest. Heckin' weebs, man. At the Discord on the stream? Yeah, you're right. I should do that. Is Yeet the new woot? No, Yeet's the new yellow.
I made a social edge, but can't ever use it. That's actually true. I think I even have it. <laughs> Oof. Well, let's hope I don't play like an asshole again. Although, I have to admit, I really thought I was covered there. I made one for social? God, did I really just not use it? I mean, don't get me wrong, it sounds like something I would do, but still. I swear to God, I like putting it down here because you have the least actual vision back here, so it's so fucking easy to get picked. Man, not this time, fuckface. <laughs> Gave that bitch a turret sandwich. Oh, I don't have head stoppers. That's why I'm taking fall damage. Huh. For some reason, I convinced myself. I oh, wait, I do have head stoppers, don't I? I don't have head stoppers. What the fuck? How have I gone this long without realizing I don't have head stoppers? You're on social media, man. You are literally on social media right now. You're on a media outlet with, in with intense social elements. See you later, Reaper. Also, what are you guys being? Well, that's what I'm saying. Pretty much everyone's on social media. Picking your brand of it doesn't really change what it is, though. It's still social media if you don't chat? That's a thought. I guess if you literally don't engage the social aspect at all, it is say reading, writing, or just like engaging the social aspect of Twitch, then it is just like watching TV, right? It's completely passive. You mean something like Twitter chat? Yeah, but trying to like distinguish those things just because you only have 140 characters to express it versus infinite characters on here is... I mean, it, it's not a distinction. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you that. It's still social media. If anything, Twitch is more of a social media, or at least a more involved one. Your public image aspect of Twitter? Well, that's just straight not true. I'm like the fucking face of the public image aspect of this, and I actually know most people fairly well through this, in the same sense that you would know people through other stuff. For example, there's a lot of stuff that I know about you, like about your knowledge of English, how you hide your knowledge of English because you tried to get good by shitposting on 4chan. All that's an aspect of social media, right? Like I know that just by your name. I know Gamer lives in Germany, does art. Like I know, I know all kinds of stuff about people through this. As you also know all kinds of stuff about me through this. 
That's the core of uh, social media, right? You're just gonna interact with the show? Pretty much, right? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. That was spooky. Cat is a stalker. You literally tell me all of this, chat. I even ask most of you shit. <laughs> To be quite honestly, I don't have a problem with you telling me, but I didn't even ask you. <laughs> you give me all this information for free, fam. traditional idea that like stuff like Facebook and uh, Twitter are the only social media that was yeah it's, it's, not, it's not how it works fam everything social media anymore media inherently became more social because of the internet in fact which has a lot of negative aspects and a lot of positive aspects it it's just kind of an issue of this generation to compromise, really. Now, contribute to a public image? Of course I do. What else would be public image other than your internet username and what people associate with you nowadays? Arguably that's more more important than like most of things anymore. Unless you literally mean how people perceive you in real life, in which case that's a pretty shallow way to view how people look at you nowadays. That's inherently why I think the whole idea of internet privacy is hilarious because it has to do far more with who you are online than ever, right? Employers look at shit that you say online. <laughs> Actively. Do they look at Twitch for that? Not necessarily, but people on Twitch will you know you as what you are here. You just make a new persona? Yeah, sure. As you could anywhere else, but yeah. Show everything that I've said online? Not necessarily, but it does show us, like, what you are as a person here. Which is what immediately concerns it. On Twitter it immediately does or Facebook? Not necessarily. There are privacy settings for all those if you're super sensitive about what people want to see about you. The gold shrine? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was wondering why it didn't work. <laughs> oh, good call. I mean, it doesn't matter at all. I have infinite money, but yeah. It's not a question of privacy? Yes, it is. First thing you ask is if people could see it. It's absolutely a question of privacy. People are dumb and can't have constructive discussions, I guess. Holy cow. How far am I into the game, Chad? I've been paying attention for like the last fucking loop. <laughs> Holy shit, where am I? What am I doing? Where's the teleporter? Get me out. There's an overloading worm underneath me. That wants my butt. And might get it if I stay there.
Actually, I was just terrified because uh, it's so dark over there and the particle effects are throwing me off really hard. God damn, this probably is so fucking spooky. Fucking worms, man. The large architecture, I'd rather look for something different. Well, I mean, that's the internet in a nutshell, to be honest. That's been an internet issue long before anything else. Or really, that's just a human issue. Just the internet makes it easier. We were talking about this yesterday. People's actually new Godwin video? Yep, for Angie. We're doing a uh, no gesture, no printer runs. We've done Huntress. Huntress, multi. Angie's gonna be another one. Who am I missing? I know I've done another one. Oh, huh. well, there's my clover. Alright. We haven't done Merc yet. That's right, we did Artificer already. We did Artificer too. Clover will take our damage way over the edge here. Third beam has got no nose, why would it? <laughs> At this point it doesn't matter. The clover was a big pickup. The clover is like the one thing that we needed that's gonna reroll all of our RNG. The behemoth doesn't even matter compared to that. Like the clover is exponential scaling, the behemoth is direct damage scaling. Like it's a good item at most points in the game, but at this point we just need a clover and the build will explode. Like it, it was still taking me like a split second to kill things there, right? Enough time for the enemy to possibly one shot me. That's pretty much off the table now. I'm just going to lay down two turrets before I hit the teleporter and then they're going to absolutely decimate everything before it's even a fight. And boom goes the dynamite. Like I said, the Clover's exponential scaling, and at this point in the game, there was so much exponentially scaled that I just I don't have to. I don't have to play the game anymore. Tried to hit me. Huh. I may mean, as doesn't matter, but I'm still kind of curious. I guess it died before it mattered. 
The funny part is that without ghosts at this point in the game, I can't actually tell what my turrets kill. I just know that they kill things. I gotta be honest, I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. Oh shit, what up? Let's see if you should include their turret damage. Yeah, it could. The turrets seem to exist almost entirely independent of the engineer, though. I don't know if that's simply a coding issue or what the deal is, but yeah. Technically speaking, pretty much everything the turrets do are almost independent from you. Their infusions are independent. So much about them is just independent. I suspect it's probably a code thing. Like, le legitimately, is there something that you get separately from them? It doesn't come to mind. Every time I play NG and multi, I feel like I'm worthless from the post-game screen. <laughs> yeah. I see what you mean. <laughs> I bet your damage looks really small. Oh yeah, yeah. we're getting into politics and religion now, chat. Wow, you're hitting all the bases tonight. Alright, we're, we're good, we're good. It's okay. It's okay. We'll stick to video games and hopefully me dying soon or ending this <laughs> Man, I go brain off when I play NG. Holy cow. So I've just got to change here, chat. I need to stop being alive. How many fucking Blazing Stone Titans have I killed now? I didn't start it? Yeah, that's not a good excuse. <laughs> Multi doesn't do his own damage? Yeah, it does. I think he meant multiplayer, yeah. That. Speaking of fucking video games, man, is it June yet? God, when am I? I'm so fucking sick of it not being June shit. I wanna play fucking Bandito. I really wanna play fucking Bandito. I was in June, risk of rain update. I wonder if it'll happen in early June or late June. God, I fucking hope it happens in early June. Please, mercy. Bandito is going to be released first, that's what most people think, because code's already in the game. You started using Twitch emotes with IRL friends, am I the only one? Please help. You know what's really funny? Speaking of Twitter. <laughs> I found a Twitter post yesterday about a son who, uh, or about a mom who literally, uh, blacklisted Twitter from, uh, from her family's internet, just because her son would only speak to her in Twitch emotes. I actually found that pretty hilarious, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie, I found that fucking hysterical. What's Bandito? Bandit. He's a class in this game. Or he was a class in Risk of Rain 1 who people think is gonna be in Risk of Rain 2. I taught my girlfriend how to use forehead and she's been using it with me a lot lately and I'm not really sure if I should have taught her how to use that. 
Because, like, I'll mess something up in real life and she'll be like, just do this, forehead. And I'll be like, please, fucking mercy. I get that, like, eight hours a night, minimum. Ah, fuck. Yeah, Jeff is now becoming Twitch chat, pretty much. Like, she'll ask about stuff you guys do, like Wan Wan and like fucking Aya and shit, because she wasn't really into Twitch memes. And I have to explain all of them, then they get used, and I'm like, uh. This is starting to bleed into my real life. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself? I did. I don't really mind that much for the most part, but goddamn it. Like, she sees something cute and she'll say Aya, and I'm just like, god fucking damn it. <laughs> you can't escape us? Yeah, pretty much. My mom knows about it, but like she, I don't know, I don't bother trying to teach her stuff here. Having that fat fucking forehead thrown at you when you mess up in real life though, chat, goddamn. You never really realize that like, the shit that people do in Twitch, you would like, easy fucking slam them in the face for in real life. <laughs> like you burn dinner or some shit and someone's just like, just don't burn dinner forehead and you're like, how about I fucking kill you? <laughs> I'm gonna explain memes of the future, pretty much. I have no idea what IIA is. They are not missing out, don't worry about it. I guess I, I'm, I'm good. Did a boss even spawn? Was there a boss? I was I was hopping in circles reading to it. I was sure that Lazar too and they come up here and want to end the run to use the finest shrine of orange sequence themselves because we want to throw a run at least do it with memes. That's a thought. But I need this for YouTube so I know. This should really bleed in real life communication at all, but language has always been evolving that way. It's just evolving more with technology now. Language has pretty much been evolving that way for a long ass time now. Language just evolves much quicker because so many more people are communicating. That's the reason why Yeet evolved. Yeet never would have made it out the front door if it weren't for the fact that, like, the internet exists. Lost and spawn briefly, darn, I have to keep going. So I said you not worth it, don't worry, I'll be gone eventually anyway. But it's just the way language evolves now. Like, language has always been dynamic. Anybody who says otherwise is full of shit. <laughs> it's just language evolves extremely fast now and in weird ways because so many people are involved in it. Uh, I think my conversation about just repeating annoying crap. It's like telling a four-year-old tell a joke once. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's because how I put this. I 
I guess to put it in a different way, shitposting became more of a lifestyle because it's impossible to tell if anyone's taking anything seriously anymore. So in that way, memes become a sort of form of communication that makes things more relatable on the whole. Okay. I gotta do one more loop and then I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much how it works. Dude, if I see one more fucking blazing golem, I swear to Christ. Two rose bucklers by this point. Where's the bomb? It's dead. Okay. Pretty sure I'm good as long as I don't play like an asshole. Oh, I'm gonna die! Just kidding, I'm fine. I should really be on the high ground here so I can actually see shit. <laughs> so much shit going on. Or degrading secondly? I don't know, man. People have been saying technology is gradually destroying the world for like literally thousands of years. Technology is just changing the world. For better or worse in a lot of ways and it's just what you make up. <laughs> People have been saying technology is destroying shit since we were fucking cave. <laughs> Break this already? Yeah. We broke an artificer run tonight and now we're breaking this one. Fork is technology, a fork is technology, yeah. <laughs> that it is. Rose bucklers are actually good for me now because I should always be running in damage reduction is immense at this point. Just in case I get one popped. When <laughs> cavemen said fire would destroy things, they weren't exactly wrong. Yes. Wow, nobody said nice rack. I think that's the first I've ever picked up this item and nobody said nice rack. I'm actually kind of proud of you, chat. I don't actually think you grew up, I just think you stopped paying attention. <laughs> You're right, I know. Job chat, you did it, yeah. You did it. So I'm thinking this will be the last loop, but I may not be because we're only at an hour 18 minutes.
Ooh, that is a lot of golem fists. Hmm. Was anything ever alive? Who knows? This game is trying really hard to kill me right now. And it's so many blazing golems. Game wants me dead, chat. I have never seen this many blazing golems, straight up. That's really weird. This is one of the only runs that at this point in the game I actually still had to play. I don't know if it's just because it's just like it's spawning more challenging things or what the deal is, but man, this is one of the only runs it's gotten this far that I actually feel like I still have to play the video game. And still you won't, you're wrong. You're right, I, I won't. <laughs> Wait a sec, what's the topic again? That's about where I'm at, Kruger. That's about where I'm at. Feel burned out of this game at all? Eh, on some level. I made it my goal to do every class a, uh, no printer, no gesture run, though. I knew Andrew was going to be kind of ridiculously, almost laughably easy, so it's very unsurprising that it has proven to be so. Even though it has actually taken me more tries at this than it did with Multi and Huntress, so what do I know, but yeah. I, uh, would not be against new content, that's for sure. Wow, that's my first pauldron, I'll be damned. Huh. Where the fuck is the teleporter? Oh shit! Enemy stop, boss stop spawning. Hell yeah! I can go up to. Oh! I, ooh, God, I'm moving too fast. Oh, I'm dead. I'm alive. I think I actually got Teddy saved there. So many explosions. I don't know if I actually could have stayed in the main area there. There were so many explosions. Holy shit! It's doing it again. All of those are ice chat. All of them explode into a circle. Fucking shit, man. Every single one of these is gonna turn into a nice explosion. Jesus Christ. There's like one safe place and it's like right here. 
I have to just sit in this corner so I don't get caught in an ice explosion. Yeah, what a fucking life this is. I have never had the game try to kill me so hard. Oh. Oh, I need to go kill that golem. There we go. Put your frames yet, they say it will not return. You're not wrong. This game is tired of your shit, yeah. Uh, Blaze at least. Blaze would actually be less scary because it'd just be dying instantly and then not exploding. The ice ones actually could kill me with just the explosion. How's it going, Death? Okay. I'm gonna keep looting because it keeps increasing my value, which hopefully will get me out of here. Actually, you know what? This is just gonna be the last loop. I'm, I'm not even playing the game anymore. <laughs> I sort of am, but I'm mostly just dodging stuff while my turrets kill it, so we're gonna call this one good. I, I will keep this up to her, don't you fuck with me. All that for a key. Yeah, actually fuck it, I'm just gonna kill the next level and call it good. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can all agree this is a pretty broken run. How do these kind of runs end? I obliterate on the end on the uh, third level portal, which will give me five lunar coins and thankfully end my existence. Or I am bored. Or I accidentally step into a barrel with this on and it kills me. That's also a possibility. See you later, David. The sweet release of death, yeah. Huh. It's gotta be in the center, it's probably one of those crates. Oh, or it's literally right there and I just didn't see it three times. It didn't even fucking hit me. Yeah, I, I could keep going, but th this is over. <laughs> I, I, it's not, not an issue. If I died at any of this point, it's gonna be my fucking frames, holy cow. Boss is still spying. You're right. You're right. And if people want to discount this one, that's fine. But I, I'm I'm so fucking bored. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to play the video game. Actually, how long have I been on chat? What's the uh? What's the uptime? Five hours, thirty-six minutes. Huh. Maybe I'll play some Battle Brothers for the last uh, six hours. That would be fun. Actually, we're only at five hours, aren't we? Uh, maybe six hours. We'll see. All right, it's out Saturday. That it is. So I got five more hours to go minimum. But yeah, this is just, <laughs> I'm just bored. Oof. The funny part is we actually still have had stompers, so uh, yeah. Good. 
good shit. Alright, I am fucking good. Is it best watch out for her again? Could be. Tornado, whatever. Oh, thank God. All right, F for my boy NG chat. We're gonna call this one good. There's nothing me doing. 20 more minutes of this run is gonna contribute. Third in a run should be to blow yourself up on a barrel. Uh, that's certainly one way to do it, but it doesn't give me coins, and I want coins. I like imaginary currencies that don't do anything for me. All right. Whew. All right, so we got Engie and oh shit, I didn't even screenshot that. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> 